is a great idea to pay more than 4,000 euros for a paddle racket? That is the price paid in 2022 for a Legaland's racket. But what is the most expensive paddle racket of 2024? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. Starbuy's most expensive racket for 2024 is exactly their new model, the Starbuy Kenta. Actually, there are three different versions of the same racket. The Pro version incorporates the EVA 50 rubber which is one of the hardest rubbers on the market and is the one used by all Starbuy Pro players. Then there is the normal version which uses the EVA 30 and the Speed version which uses Starbuy Softest rubber. All models have two layers of 3K carbon so it will tend to be harder than normal. Another new feature is the Noene grip which really reduces vibrations. Actually, they had an experiment on the Master Final and you could really appreciate the vibration reduction work that this grip does. Another remarkable thing is its rod that is made with the mold of the racket itself so it doesn't wear out and is more effective. So how much is the Star Vikenta? 275 euros. We continue moving forward in the ranking of the most expensive rackets of 2024 and we arrive at the most expensive racket of head. Although actually all head pro version rackets are worth the same, we are going to focus on their new release, the head Radical Pro. Although the name may be confusing, the Radical range is designed for maximum control and not so much for power. So the new Radical is a completely new mold and incorporates 3K carbon. But what is the problem with the Radical Pro for me? It's weight. Because all head pro models are the heaviest ones. They usually weigh around 370 or 375 grams and for me that is too much. But obviously if you like rackets of that weight then it is a blessing. But if not, and in my case, the head motion models have the same features but with less weight. One thing that I will improve on this Radical Pro will be the rough because it doesn't have any. Of the head brackets, the Extreme is practically the only one that incorporates any kind of roughness. And how much is the new Radical Pro worth? 280 euros. For now we are far from the 4000 euros that was paid for Galant's racket but be aware that the 5 most expensive racket of 2024 are left. So why don't you subscribe to the channel because maybe that way your friend will give you the most expensive racket of this season. In 5th position we have the racket of Franco Stupasuk, the Sioux Electra ST3 Pro. So what changes has this Electra compared to the last year? Well, the most important is the rubber, because it changes from using a soft rubber to a hard one. If we think about this change of rubber, the 15K carbon used, the rough that mixes gloss and sand, it is a racket with a very hard touch. And if we don't remove the sock out that comes with the racket, the racket becomes even harder. One thing that I don't like it and actually Franco removed it is the original grip. In my opinion it's too thick and has many edges which makes it very difficult to change grip fast. So how much is this new harder version of a Stupa racket worth? 300 euros. We go now from Franco Stupasuk to Paquito Navarro. The Bull Paddle Hack O3 Master Final Edition was the racket that led to victory in the last World Paddle Tour in history of the player from Seville. Good luck for Paquito who since 2016 didn't get to win the Master Final. But this time he did it by the hand of Chingoto and with his limited edition racket. So how does his new hack change? Actually only in the design and in the rough. Because the rough is different from the standard one and they have tried to imitate the Master Final logo. Paquito's special racket for last year's Master Final price was 480 euros, something crazy. And only one year later and without any new technology to add to the racket, the special version of Paquito's racket is worth 350. 130 euros of difference in just one year. But now it is, it's time to see the three most expensive rackets of this season. And in third position is Babolat with the new racket of Juan Lebron, the technical viper of 2024. What changes compared to the 2023 version? Actually none, only the design has been slightly changed. 
and therefore it is still a very hard racket. It's rubber, the 12K carbon and the shiny and sandy finish at the same time make it one of the hardest rackets of all the market. In fact, it may have been one of the causes of Juan's elbow problems during last season. Juan didn't use it when he returned to competition and made his debut with a new racket at last World Pile Tour Menorca. But what we thought was going to be his new racket, we later found out it was not. And this is because the racket used by Juan is the same mold as his 2021 racket but different from the 2024 racket. So will Babolat sell the racket used by Juan in 2025? That model was without a doubt a real success. However, the racket that is sold today is worth 380 euros. So let's go to the second position with the special edition of Tapia's racket, although he has not used it. The Nox 80 Genius Limited Edition is worth 399 euros, so imagine how much the most expensive racket of 2024 will be worth. This racket was supposed to be used by Tapia in the Master Final, but in the end it wasn't used. It incorporates 18K carbon, which is different from the aluminized carbon used in Tapia's 2024 racket. But it does use the same rubber as the 2024 version, the new Black Eva from Nox. It also incorporates the new air channel that improves the racket agilities and two types of rough, sandy and in relief unique to this racket. They have increased by 1 cm the size of the grip that was too short and also incorporates the custom grip to reduce vibration and have a more fixed grip. And now it's moment for the most expensive racket of 2024. 380 for the bubble at 399 for the limited edition of Tapia's racket, but the most expensive racket of this season is the Adidas Multiweight Control by Alex Rith. Within the Adidas racket, it is 10 euros more expensive than the hard version of Ale Galan's racket. But what changes that it have with respect to the 2023 version? Actually, only the design. However, Alex is gonna tell us more about his racket. Se adapta mucho a las necesidades de cada persona, de cada jugador, por el sistema de, de los pesos, ¿no? De, del balance. Aquí puedo mover todos los tornillos que hay. Y bueno, si tienes eh, ganas de un día, por ejemplo, hace mucho calor y la bola sale muchísimo y dices, bueno, necesito un poquito más de sensaciones con la bola, poner los pesos alrededor del, de la zona de control y va a sentir mucho más la bola, va, va a sentir más el peso sobre, la, sobre el triángulo, va a tener un poquito menos salida, más control y si tienes la necesidad de, de, de un día que hace mucho frío, de decir, mira, quiero la pala, que salga un poquito más. Poner todos los pesos en, en, la, en la zona de ataque y ahí va a notar un poquito más de salida de la bola. Lo que pasa es que, lógicamente, tienes que tener cuidado con los pesos, ¿no? Para que no se te vaya ni mucho a la cabeza, ni mucho abajo, ¿no? Porque si no, el codo puede sufrir. Pero bueno, cada uno tiene su necesidad. Como tienes siete posibilidades, siete tornillos, eh, ahí lo puedes eh, poner como tú veas. Yo, en este caso, en Milán, lo suelo poner aquí. Ni muy control, ni, ni muy arriba, exactamente. Entonces, ahí me da un poquito más de control y más de sensación con la bola. Es un puño estándar, pero sí es verdad que si tú le... centímetros? Si le pones el grip un poquito más arriba, lo hacen más, lo hacen más, más amplio. No, lo hacen más amplio el grip. Ah, el, bueno, lo que el puño. Sí, 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 sí. Entonces al final lo puedes coger un poquito más arriba. ¿Tú Eso lo haces? Yo lo hago. Yo lo pongo so, so, más o menos por aquí, por esta zona. And now, how much is Alex racket worth? 400 euros. Would you buy a racket for more than 300 euros? Do you think that rackets are going to go down in price as in the case of bull paddle or we continue to rise? Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Ciao!